But I have to, you know, I'm just waiting to, for the bill. Don't worry. Don't worry. Flip is going to just chill. That's why I'm over here smiling. You gave a lot of trouble. You gave a lot of trouble. And this is why I'm just going, I'm just looking at my notes. I got the beautiful notes from Michelle. And I'm smiling at them. Yeah, she, yeah. Michelle, she, you dug up some notes on me? Yeah. What you lot, do? What you, you know, do? I see a lot of, you know, a lot of things. Why you, why you didn't give me all the good stuff about me? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, you know, I attract negativity. <laughs> you do, Flip. I, oh, I no. see you, man. Oh, oh. I, I, I. Oh. But, you know, you you attract me, fun and okay. negativity. Like it's all in fun. It's yeah. all a good fun, man. It's all good fun. It's all a good fun. Hold me down, G. It's all a good fun. Talk to my friend like that. It's like, you don't mean that, man. <laughs> huh? Huh? You don't mean that. You like this guy, G. <laughs> It's good. It's good. Your, your negative is good. Some fun. It's some fun stuff. Funny Thank stuff. Thank you, bro. I appreciate I ain't gonna lie. Man, I that's why I'm smiling. I, I'm, I'm noticing a lot of stuff. If you, if you see me, because I know people are like flip is quiet. But I'm just watching. Yeah, man. I've had my friends. Look, I, I got in trouble at Fresno State. Uh, with my my girlfriend at the time, it almost jammed me up. You know what I'm saying? It, it, like, everything's a learning experience, man. Everything, every step away from me was learning this, man. You, see, you, you, skip, you, you on your own. Skip to my Louis. You skip that. Yeah, I got, I got in trouble. I, no, I. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna tell you. She still told. She dug it up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> she dug it up. She didn't tell you, you know. But it's learning experience. You hit her? No. She said I did. No. Oh, for real? No. What? 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 What comes out like when you have trouble like that? How bad can it get? As bad as it can, because I'm magnified. Remember, I was, at that time on the cover of Slam, everybody's coming to see me. Cop, NBA scouts, everybody. Do you think women do that intentionally when they know? Like, do you? I can't say okay. that. You, gotcha. you know, uh, I respect that. It it hurts. You know, look, we men, uh, it hurts to hear that. You know, somebody that you have fallen in love with is messed with this for that. So it hurts. So you know what I'm saying. So I can't say everyone's doing things intentionally. You know what I'm saying. Um, sometimes you gotta understand your role we play in it. You know, you don't you don't want to own up to it because at the time you're young and dumb and you you think you're the man and, and it you think it's fun to move around like that. You know what I mean? Get, how you got a girlfriend here, 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 here. You know, you think it's cool, but when you get old and wise, you're like, nah, you mean, you know, not every woman you come across just wants to have the fun you try to have. Some women take a liking to you, you know, uh, for you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes in my our shoes is big time college ball players and NBA players, it's hard for us to identify that because we come across so many people. That's right. You know what I mean? So it's hard for us to identify, okay, is this, she the one? Or she the one. Yeah, yeah. So you don't know because you're like, you know, I don't know. Like you saying, I don't know if this is the one that's trying to set me up. Or I don't, you don't know. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. tough, man. I'm going to move on from that because you know. Yeah, I, let's I, move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he was we got early. ladies here and they were like, you nasty, man. The flip was saying earlier, like, when did the whole N1 mix, uh, mixtape the, the mix, so, it was kind of done devilish, I want to say. Uh, so the mix, the first mixtape was accumulation of the footage from the, the time I was playing the Rucker, 15, 16, 17. Right. They rolled the, the mixtape out uh, like when I was in junior college, mm. unbeknownst to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I didn't have no thing, nothing to do with that. So know, they, my they high just, school coach, they just, they just dropped guys it. that was running the Rucker Park, they capitalized off of that. You know what I'm saying? Remember, I'm an amateur at the time. I can't capitalize off of that. Even if I wanted to. Oh, hold up, hold up. You know what I'm saying? You use the right words, Skip. <laughs> what you mean? It don't look like you was too happy with that, huh? I wasn't too happy with them rolling the tape out. Ooh, -hoo. You know what I'm saying? Without, there you go. Without, without touch Queens. talking, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me go to the corner on you, Skip. <laughs> hold on. So, 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 so. But initially, did you know what was going on? Like, but you're in college, so you should know. What I know. Uh -uh. So, how you found out? The tape came out. But you were you in a position? Did you okay? So all right. So walk us through that step. I can't walk. Well, that's that's that, this is lame. The lame, as lame in terms is gonna be. They did that behind the scenes. So you didn't know they were recording you initially? No, I, people record the games in Rucker Park. They yeah. record the games in Soul in the Hole. They record mm -hmm. the games. That's why you see so much footage of people. Them little grainy footages, like you see footage of Booger the and grain, all. You see yeah. little grainy footage. You got to <laughs> adjust the tracking. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bastard back in the days. So. But people, yeah, people. So and one put it out without your permission or consent. Without my permission or consent. So what happens? What do? What does? What does? Skip do when he? So at that? this time, I'm in junior college. At this time, I'm locked in. I'm focused on my this task that I got right now. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get sidetracked, derailed, sidetracked with course. that because then anger, frustration, that leads to X, Y, and Z. Where we come from, we're mm -hmm. not calling the police. We're not. We're no. not doing that. We're not calling. I need, you know, like they said now, we're pulling up. 
Talk, you right? No, I'm just saying. So, you know what I'm saying is, though, that's the world we come from. I like that. I'm just saying, we that's the world we come So, I'm like, and my mom is, she really wants to go crazy. I don't even know how she felt totally back, you know what I mean? Because we don't, it wasn't nothing. I'm focused on the task at hand. Stay on point, stay on, stay on course with, I'm out here to go to school and do what I need to do with this, with the basketball. So, and then as it rolled out, I'm like, oh, but wait, I'm a star. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wait a minute. People in California got this tape. People everywhere got this tape. So I'm like, I'm a star. You know what I'm saying? But I, at this point, I knew I was one step away at this time. Like, yo, I'm a step and a half away from going to the NBA. Right? I just got to do one more year of JUCO and one year of uh, Division One. That was my whole plan. Do my knock out my two years of junior college, one year of Division One, and I'm out of there. Well, well, who, who who's the guy who made the tape though? Do you know? Well, oh, well, it was like I said, it was accumulation of of, of, of the people who filmed the Rucker games, yeah, sh- getting it to the and one people, and that's how it took off. You ain't reach out to them. You ain't say nothing, none of that, none of that, because you focus. Here, here's the thing, y'all. The good thing about it, it all came full circle. Okay, I sure. end up getting a long term deal with and one. I wore and one my whole career in the NBA. I had and one when I retired. I still gonna be in talks with N one. You know, whenever COVID died down, we all get to the round table, you know, south of Dexter Gordon. You know what I'm saying? I'm still gonna be in talks with them too. Right. So the they they came around full circle to salvage that. That's good. That's real. Because you know they had your name on the on the front of the, the cover. Like you know what I'm you saying? Know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's I mean, I, I was a star, man. That's they, crazy. They, they made look, they made skits my loo. They took it another step by everybody. You know, the whole volume one was Skits in My Lou. Yeah. yeah. It was Skits in My Lou, yeah. Skits in My Lou, Skits in My Lou. So. so, college, now let's talk about the NBA. How, how, how do we get into that? How does that transition happen? So, I entered the draft after my junior year. Um, the trouble I got in with my the, my girlfriend in college came back to haunt me as I'm going through my interview process and everything. And um I went to pre-draft camp Chicago. I killed these I killed these dudes in pre-draft camp. So coming out of pre-draft camp, my name elevated possible mid first round, late late first round. Mm-hmm. But when you do your you do when they do their background checks and everything, it came that that incident. So I ended up going with? second round. I was I I was in LA with my I was uh, working out, and then I went to a little bar and grill. And I just sat at the bar watching watching uh, the game uh, the uh, draft. I uh, wasn't drinking or nothing. I just I just sat there because I didn't want to sit. That's where the TV was, and I'm just sitting there. The first round go by, and I sat there. I'm like, I think I just made the biggest mistake. You know what I'm saying? So I'm already thinking what's next. And then all of a sudden it was like, uh, I think, uh, damn, I can't remember what pick I was. 38th or 39th. And then like with the 39th pick, Milwaukee Bucks just like straight for Austin. And I'm in the bar. I'm like, hell yeah! And I'm doing, and everyone's look like they looking like what the hell's wrong with him. I said, oh, never mind. So they not even look at the TV because mm. my picture and everything right there. And John Thompson, he did the second round. He was like, and this is a steal. This is a steal. And they said the Milwaukee Bucks has got them a good. He might not be a starter right away, but he got a solid backup. I'm like, talk that, talk to him, John. And I finished my Coca Cola and I paid the bill and I ran out, got my the rental car and drove back to the hotel. And I said, so I started calling. I called him, my, my boy. I called everybody. And I was like, yeah. But then I was like, man, I gotta make the team because back then in '98, '99, like second round picks don't get guaranteed money. So I'm like, mm. I gotta make the team. But I, you know, at this time I got the confidence through the roof. I'm in tip top tip top tip top condition. My body is is I'm strong. Mm. I'm, I'm I'm I think I have I don't have no real body fat nothing. I'm in, I'm talking about I'm a thoroughbred, and I'm just outrunning it. I couldn't outrun Ray Allen because uh, on that team was Sam Cassell, Ray Allen, mm. big, uh, Glenn Robinson. So we had we had some some dogs. Tim Thomas. Uh, so, but from a backup point guard standpoint, I was I was the the best thing that they could probably get. Who was in that um the top of that top of that uh, uh Michael on the candy, Paul Pierce, Mike Bibby, I think it was in that ninety eight draft, if I'm not mistaken. Uh Jason Williams went early white chocolate. Mm. Yeah. Um but there's a lot of names that went first round. I I I outlasted them. You know what I mean? I played eleven years, so I I some of them dudes done done in four or five that went in the first round, like late middle or late first round. Some of them was they was done. When was Kobe draft? It was ninety eight. Ninety six. Ninety six. I think yeah, ninety six, right? Ninety five, ninety six, something like that. So 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 now your mind is to make the team. So but real quick, why did they 
remove you from first round because it's to well, you you do not remove. You don't. It's not as though you're going first round. So but, there's only certain people that that it's only certain people that they got an idea that it's gonna go lottery and everything. No, I got you. No, but when you said that you know that, that incident that came back up, what what made well, it's, them... it's, it's 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 a it's a testament to your character. Got it. Okay. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Character. Got Man, it. it's a it's a it's a lot of other stuff that they brought up in some of these interviews. They asked me about my upbringing in Queens in South Side Bay Queens, and. They said, man, we it's, uh, it come to us that you used to lead a group of people in the middle of the night. I said, hold on, brother. I, I'm not the leader of no group of people. You know what I said? I said, you know how skinny and small I'm Who I'm leading? You know what I mean? But it's a billion-dollar business. They could pay somebody to go to their neighbor right now. Yo, how was Flip when he was 15? How was, how was Queens Flip, man? How was Mr. Robinson? Uh, yeah. uh, yo, uh, chill out, chill out. Yo, yo, yo. No, 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 what I'm saying though, yo, don't call my name like that, bro. Hey, don't talk to my <laughs> Thank you, G. friend like Thank you, that. G, hold me down, G. Talk to him. Just don't do it. Get him, G. Don't talk to him like that. Thank you. Uh, but Thank no, you. but they'll they'll do that. You know. So and then you know you don't know. So even to this day, I I really want to know like who was the sucker that told him that I was in? <laughs> no, for real, because you gotta be. Yeah. It had to come as one of my home or somebody mm -hmm. that might have been down on their luck, and they probably yo. I give you a few hours. You tell me. Yo, what kind of kid, what kind of, how was he around here? You did, so you really had people, you really? No. I'm like, who, I'm like, who, who would tell them some, some, something like that? I don't know. Was it a lie or they told them the truth? It's a lie. Sure did I hang out all night? Yeah, I told y'all that. Facts. Right. Yeah, facts, I did. Facts, 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 when, you facts. In, when you in New York City or Queens, summertime, nah, it's like 15, 20 minutes on the corner. It's, it's, it is what it is. But I ain't the leader of these people. <laughs> <laughs> like so, I'm sitting there like, and I was, and, um, so, so it was a meeting. It was a meeting. Yeah, because when you in, when you in there, you got the head coach, the GM, you got a couple of scouts. Cool. Yeah, you feel like you being interrogated. You know what I'm saying? But when you, but when you, when you comfortable with who you are and everything, you ain't flinching in there. You like, nah, man. I, listen, I, I grew up in a, a night, a neighborhood that you know, people being outside up and, and all hours of the night. That's just the norm where I come from. It's, it's, you know, um, and that, that's how I handled it, man. You just, mm. you know, you handle it the, the best way you can. Mm. To you. So you get to the Bucks. Uh, there was something I seen that Ray Allen was saying something about you. I think when you first, when you first got started on the Bucks, something he mentioned about uh, you not being a, a valid point, something like that. Something like you not being a valid point guard or something like that, a backup point guard. I don't know. See, the problem with when so when you're young and you get in the league right there and you don't get the minutes mm. to showcase yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's easy for somebody to think that. Right. That's what they. That's how they validate why you not, why you're not playing. Even my coach tried to say, I think George Carl tried to say something in the interview. Like, I, with, when I put him in, they target him. Keep in mind, I was one of the best defenders. I'm probably one of the better defenders on that team because as good as Sam was offensive, he was that bad defensively. Mm. Right. So, I'm probably one of your better defenders out there. You know what I mean? That was one of, one of my strengths of my game. Even when I was a young kid is that not only could I tear you up offensively, I'm tough on defense. So that was my strength. And so that was just a va way to validate why he's not playing, right? Um, did I? So I go from those three years to catching on with another team and becoming a starter. So I improved that, dramat that drastically? Mm. I don't think so. Because when you look you up, they said you struggled in your, the beginning of the years of the NBA. Yeah, you, you because yeah, but, but when the consistency is not there. So I've had games where I play. It's not to make excuses. I struggle my jump shot. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't shoot the jumper well. But that's the only area I struggled in. Right? There's more to the game than shooting the ball. I could run your team. I could defend. You know what I'm saying? I know what's going on. I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a lead point guard. I could direct. You know, I can get us in order. You know what I mean? I could organize our team. Um, but you have nights like, you. let's say I play today. I go one for five. I don't play again. I get DMP. That's did not play in the box score. I get DMP for the next 10 games. Then all of a sudden, hey, where are you going? I'm one for three. My shooting percentage is bad now, right? I went one for five one game, I'm one for three. I'm two for eight in the two games. So it looked like I'm trash, right? Because, like, you know what I mean? As opposed to if I went one for five today, the coach came back with me tomorrow, played me 15, 20 minutes, now I went five for six. See. You see what I'm saying? So if the consistency in minutes is there, I can't be consistent if the consistency in minutes is there. Why didn't they put you in? Well, you had those guys were good. 
San Cassell was dynamite at that time. It was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then some coaches, we had backup point guards like uh, some old, they were good veteran guys. These coaches like to play the veterans back then in those days because they been they know how to play in this league. They know how to win in this league. You know what I'm saying? And I had to learn what it is to be a NBA pro, a professional, how to utilize my time, do all those things. So it actually helped me because three years later I'm a full-time starter and, you know, the rest was history. So it actually helped me. Because I actually got a chance to really see what the coach was talking about, you know what I'm saying. So that was that was the beauty of it. Was it hard to make a transition from street ball? To- Not for me. It was, it was easy. The, tra- the only hard part was to get people to to try to understand that that's just what I do in the summertime at playgrounds in New York City. I don't see things I did in Rucker Park. Some other tournaments, it was just straight to the point. I might go in Rucker Park and wrap around somebody's head, throw behind the back, do all the skip down the court. But I might go to Hunter College where they had the Nike Pro Am League and just give you straight hell. You see what I'm saying? So it was like two different worlds. I knew what I knew doing the tricks and stuff stayed in that park. Got it. That's why it's called the Entertainers Basketball Classic. Mm. I'm here to entertain you people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that I did. You know what I'm saying? So that's what happened. So what what was your first breakout game? You think, like, as far as like on the Bucks, when you first got one of my childhood? breakout games was against one of my childhood idols, and God bless his soul, his brother uh, Escalade was one of my close friends too. Shout out Escalade, uh, shout out Escalade, and um, it was against Mark Jackson. You know, a person I as a kid, I'm watching mm-hmm. him at St. John's, watching him at the Knicks. You know, you want you idolize him, and I had scored six straight, and I'm like, wow, man, I'm, I'm doing this against man, arguably one of the best guys ever played in New York City, and, nice. and that was one of my breakout games. And then on one game, Sam Cassell got hurt. And we playing John Stockton in the in the, in, uh, the Jazz, mm. and in the newspaper early in the morning, uh, that was the toss that they got the huge edge at the point guard because we don't know who we who's gonna play point for the Bucks. And a coach came my way. I ended up having fourteen points, ten assists, and and that's when they knew. Oh yeah, skip skip skips skip, for real. You know what I'm saying? And I'm bumping John Stock. You know John that's always tough. like to do nah, the cheap shots, hit you. So. I'm bumping, I'm bumping back, you know, pause that, but we, no, I got you, I got you. No, basketball's pause, man. <laughs> you know, I ain't gonna lie, people know that. Like, you, ever, you ever hear the commentator in basketball? Penetration. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Shaq is having his way with him down low. Like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Yo, basketball is pause, uh, man. Hey, so, 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 now you're playing, you, you, you transitioned, it, you, you're playing, um, mm-hmm. after the books, the next team. So, Actually, I didn't have a team, so I end up. I had a three. I finished my three year contract with the Bucks. I go to training camp with the Golden State Warriors. They was in a transition period where they was trying to make. They were making Gilbert Arenas the the starting point guard, which was mm-hmm. turned out to be a good thing. Um, they didn't really have no spots left, so they waived me in training camp. So you went to like Mobile, really? right? Yeah. But no, but before that, I was just here. So my agent, Eddie. So at this time, Eddie's my manager. Eddie. Yo, Eddie's yeah. calling me every day. Oh, man. I'm like, man, he's like, man, yo, you gotta go. They want to see you play. They, you gotta go to the uh, the, the it was it wasn't the G League. It was called the D League. Okay. It was the developmental league. You gotta go. They want you to go developing. I'm, like, I'm not developing anything. I'm gonna go down there and destroy these. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. He said, what you gonna do? I'm gonna chill and see what else. You gonna go overseas? I'm not going to no country. I'm an NBA player. I'm not going anywhere. And he said, what you gonna do? I don't know. Click. I'm partying every day. I'm at. What's the name of them damn clubs back in the day? We had Rebar Lounge. We had all these different places back in them days, man. Just I mean, every night, me Escalade every night. And then one day, Escalade was just talking. And he's like, "Yo, come out here, come come to this uh, gym. We are playing at this church in Long Island. I come." So we start playing. And he said, man, "I really wanted to tell you, man. Man, what you gonna do, man? You gotta get up out of here, man. You gotta go go back and play some ball." Then Mook hit me. We part. We went out that night. Mook said, "Man, yo, you gotta go back. You gotta play some ball. You gotta stop this." Yo, you can't just be partying every night now. So now my agent called me and said, yo, the Mobile Revelers, I got you a team if you want to go. You know, you're going to go tomorrow. Or you. At this time, I'm out of shape. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm out of shape. But I had to go. I get on the plane. I go down there right off the plane. 18.7 rebounds, seven assists. I'm breathing like this. I go to practice. I start doing everything I used to do. I, at, before practice, I'm on a treadmill. During practice, I'm running. After practice, I'm on a treadmill. It took me like a week to bounce back and shake. I did everything every day. The very next game. So I think I was, I don't know if I was like 17, 16 points or something down there, but it's like, you know, it's only like 16, 17 points, seven assists, uh, five, six rebounds. I, I think I was only there for like five games or something like that. Four to five games. And the Raptors called me up on the 10 day. 
And they said, man, this is, can somebody bring the rest of your clothes up? I said, yep, <laughs> he is. <laughs> I said, so, man, just go somewhere and get the rest of my clothes, man. It's, I'm in Toronto. It's freezing. Mm. Yeah. So I had it. Um, I went to the fur district here. They got me a, a chinchilla and a mink. I said, man, it's cold up here, man. And I, I'm, I was like, that was it, man. The rest was history, man. I'm playing with Vince Carter and those guys up there. Uh, every it went. It was skit to my little mania in, in Toronto. Yeah, yeah, it was skit to my little mania. Crazy, crazy. Off the ten day contract, everybody at the whole st- the country, the whole country. Man, it's a beautiful city, man. Shout out to Toronto, man. I love Shout it. Toronto. I miss Toronto. Um, when did you have um? Yeah, G. Did Jalen Rose play in Toronto at that time? Jalen Rose played me, man. Me and him didn't get along. I, I know. That's why. Me and him and I didn't get him and I didn't get along. <laughs> I love Jalen Rose as a man. Mm. He's a he's a terrible teammate. He's a terrible but teammate. What's the issue if with he you? if he don't get the ball a couple of times, keep in mind the coach is calling the plays. And right. at that time, Chris Bosh was an up and coming star. Mm. The coach is calling the plays. The coach called the plays for Chris Bosh every time down. What do you think I'm the point guard? What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give him the rock. Mm-hmm. If he ain't open, guess who's the next option? Jalen Rose. Right. He's having 17, 18 points a game. But Jalen wants the ball every time. And if he don't get the ball, he's not trying to play defense. He's not trying to do all these things. I'm sitting there. So I don't like that, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And you, what you're trying to say is, I mean, so I showed him one day in Charlotte. We in Charlotte. I showed him. You ain't what, pass the ball. I ain't so passing right. the ball. Okay. <laughs> I said, yeah. And the coach brought us in a meeting. And he said, well, you, 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 you purposely not pass the ball? Yes, I purposely passed the ball. Yes, I did. Yeah, I did not give him the ball. Because he he insinuated this the whole year. So how are you averaging 18 points a game and you're not getting the ball? And you're not even the first option. Guess who was giving you the ball? I was. How did you get 18 points a game? And I'm averaging 6.2 or 6.4 assists that year or something like that. Mm-hmm. My highest. How are you not getting the ball? Mm. I was the third leading scorer on that team, I think, that year. So all the options fell in line. Bosch was the star. Jalen was the second leading scorer. And they brought me in to do those things, score some, assist some. You know what I'm saying? But I saw Jane Rose, we was in L.A. at Katana at this restaurant, and we hugged because off the court, he's the greatest teammate I've probably ever been around. Wow. The greatest. Jane Rose has your back. Jane Rose will make sure you're okay. Jane Rose will give you the keys to your car if you just need to go home or go somewhere. And so I, I and I tell him that to his face. I love you as a te- I love you as a man. I'm gonna court, respect you as a man, regardless. Yeah, on the court, different story. On the court, I never seen nothing like it. Mm. They said that you had an attitude and stuff while in Toronto. You criticized for your attitude. It wasn't that. It's oh, that it's I, it's had it's issue, it's I had an issue. I had an issue with. Like we just talked about Ace with J. Rowe. and the coach. The coach was funny. Sam Mitchell was a. a I don't know if to call him a sucker. But, oh, but no, I seriously, I don't know if to call. I don't know like, to call him that. I don't know to call that. But he was, he was, he was, he was, he was weird. Oh, this yeah, is close cousin Josh. So when we lose a game, he coming at. He came in the locker room. We lost a game in Boston. Hey, listen, you motherfuckers, y'all y'all acting like bitches. So I stood up. Hold on, my man. It's all right. You could be upset about a game, but you ain't calling us no. no you ain't calling us that. So. I took my clothes up, my shorts and spandex off, put my towel in front of him, and was brushing my teeth. And I went and turned the, uh, the showers on. You got somewhere to be? I sure do. I'm not listening to you. You just called us a, a bitch, yo. I'm sitting there like, those fighting words, man. What's wrong with you? And first of all, what coach does that? You know what I'm saying? So, what else, so, so, yeah, what so, else attitude what, though? I, yeah, I, I, but, but at I, I the end of the day, but at the end of the day, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, we, we can say it's an attitude, skip, yes. Skip. Hold on, we can say it's an attitude, yes. But again, the coach, at no matter what happened out there, you got to respect us. You got to respect us, man. And you can't come in there calling people other than their names in there. I agree. What else? What else? What else? Because, you know, to be criticized for your attitude, that's, 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 that's an incident. Think about this, man. That's an incident. Think about this. One. Think about this. Numerous incidents has have transpired. Yes. Think about this. If I was that bad, my attitude, why did so many teams keep wanting me? Because remember this: mm. what may happen on one team, right. right? Remember that. What happens on one team doesn't carry over to the other team because you don't know what the situation between that person, that coach, that per that player, the other player. You don't know, right? One thing about professional sports is. 
that is, it will always fall. When it comes to a riff, it'll always fall back on the player. True. And I'm not saying I was, uh, I'm not at fault. Yeah. But I'm at fault because I'm going to stand on what I stand on. You gonna you don't have to like me as a player, but you're going to respect me as a man. Okay. To come in the locker room and call me a bitch. So behind the scenes, he apologized. The next night we had to play in Cleveland. The next night, he could, yo, Ray, can you come in my room? He apologized. Respect. But do, do anybody, but did that part get out? You never heard about him apologizing. Plus, no. I'm not a sucker. I ain't about to go out there and say, yo, he apologized, y'all. <laughs> not doing that. Yo, man, I respect your apology, man. Let's not have that go down again. He did some weird stuff again. Come in the locker room after a game. Uh, yo, some of y'all partying all night. If she ain't giving you nothing by a certain time, just go to bed. Yo, my brother, you can't be putting a business. Yo, listen, I'm done with you, sir. Wow. And that's when I was done with him. The GM brought me in. I said, it's right before we about to leave. And I said, don't bring me back here. Don't bring me back here. This is not an environment I want to be in. So what do you mean he told you business? Not our business personally, but like saying, like basically putting out that players are hanging out all night when there's no curfew. Got it. You see what I'm saying? There's no curfew or anything. So we have a right to. We show up on time. We do. We, we, we work hard. We play hard. You're not going to win every night. We're playing against the best players in the world. You're not going to beat them every night. You're not going undefeated. The Bulls tried it. They went 72 and 10, right? They tried. But they lost ten nights. <laughs> so are they are they bitches and, and suckers and punks for for ten nights? That's what they are. No, it's come on, yo. It, tonight wasn't your night. Let's get this. Let's let's get back to it. Another night we got practice them all. Let's 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 get together. You, you know, just, Robin was out yeah. partying too crazy. Dennis mm-hmm. Robin, he was he was out partying crazy. Um, Dennis the, Robin, he said. He was out I don't party. know about Rob. I'm going to speak no, for I'm people. No, I'm saying like, he, was, he was out yeah, partying crazy saying, during his time. Like, I'm they, speak for, uh, they spoke uh, about it like, publicly. Yeah. Like, he was out partying. Yeah, it's it's go- speak like for it. myself. I ain't been know about Robin. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying. Like He, he talking about job partying, but Robin was out nights. Couldn't find him. I'm saying the at. coach was saying this. No, nah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, no, he I'm was out. The coach was out. He was hanging out. Oh, okay. I walked in the club in the back. So that's what trying to look at the ladies and all that. I'm look trying to look at the lady. I'm hey, listen to the music, champagne. Hey, look like the the coach. Oh, so he out. Get, he coming talking talk to y'all. Crazy. It was a couple of players. We just walked out because we knew we got him. Mm. And that's why he we did. like. Well, we got him. That's why. He so if he said, like so that. then he couldn't say nothing to us the rest of the year. <laughs> we got him. Oh, uh, that's crazy. What are you doing in here, coach? Mm. <laughs> wow. But even even Coach Shad Mitchell, man, like when I got traded and, I, and I, he we played against Toronto, as a man, man, look, we were warming up for the second half. And he was standing there, and we were warming up by their bench. And I went over there, shook his hand, and hugged him, man. I love you as a man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's, that's just the man I am. Just because we got along from a basketball standpoint doesn't mean I don't, I, don't, I hate you as a man. You know what I'm saying? I love you as a man. You know what I'm saying? But you know. Um, and it was his first year as the – see, one thing I respect the, is we both had to learn. It was my first year as a full-time starter, his first year as a, a, a head coach. Mm. Um, Why did you slap Eddie House in the head? I still don't <laughs> remember, man. I still don't why, remember, man. Why you I, yo, I thought after he made the talk – Eddie, Eddie's a dude that – No, wait, wait, stop, wait, wait, stop. Mm-hmm. You, you know, you, you're very good at talking, but you never out-talk me. Stop out-talking me. You my you house. asked me the question. You in my house. You asked you me the question. You've been out talking me all day. I, 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 you've been you right. Me Shout out to the house of flip, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Why you saying this? Shout out to the house of flip. Now, now, I'm, now I'm activated now. Now the troublemaker spot has Now, to be honest with you, man. Slap them in the back I'm, of his head. I'm, 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 I don't know if I'm a troublemaker or a, a, a finisher or oh. A, oh. A, a, I react. I react too quick. So you don't remember that day at all? Yeah, you? I remember the day. No, no. I said, I don't I don't remember why. I, I guess because... He had made a shot, and I thought he was talking shit or something like that, and we were getting our butts kicked. And I thought he was talking shit, because Eddie's that type of dude. Eddie could go one for ten and make one more shot. I mean, do it all. Like, sit your behind down, man. <laughs> so I just reacted and, like, hey, get your behind down the court. And I was like, oh, man. I mean, That's in the locker room. Words. In the locker room, I'm like, no, they about to hit me with a suspension. And sure enough, I couldn't even got the locker room fast. But, man, it's all suspended one game for the next, the very next game. I'm like, God. So, man. Yes. Hey, I'm going to tell you a funny story about this, though. Mm-hmm. 
two summers later, I'm coaching the AAU team, one of my A teams. I, I, I was coach at the time. We go to Vegas. So we we sitting in the crowd waiting for the game that's in front of us to end. And I'm sitting down, this little team, so I'm coaching 17 under this little the guy brings this team in. I guess their older team was playing. I'm sitting right with this this uh this, this this younger kids and the coach goes, Hey young fella, you know who you sit next to? So I look and look at the said, Nah, you probably don't know, man. You know, he, I said, I'm thinking he's just trying to say, Yeah, that's that's good to my loot right there. He said, Man, you don't know who you sit next to? I said, So I'm as I am about to say, yo man, I'm ready for us. I played I played the Rockets and you know, I just was playing with the magic, you know, everything. The guy goes, before I can say that, the guy goes, That's the guy that slapped your dad. I said, Yo, oh. man. I said, Yo, don't say that. So the dude looking at me, the kid looking at me crazy. I'm like, nah. yo, man, me and your dad cool, man. I said, man, I apologize. I see your dad. You're me and your dad cool. Man, lo and behold, it was Eddie House son right there. And shout out to Eddie House. Shout out to Eddie House son. Eddie House son playing at Arizona State now. Dope. Shout out to Eddie House. So shout out to Eddie House. Eddie House son, man. You know, it's all love, man. You know, I mean, you know, he did say that's what happened when you start kicking somebody ass because you was losing. He said that. He said that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know that. You know what happened. None of that bothers me. Losing. I watched it. He didn't say nothing. None of that bothered me. He shot, we, bye, so shot we, him, bye. We, <laughs> his, whole, his whole head. Yo, we finished. Yo, I even know you. Was, we finished him off in seven, though. That's oh, a, yeah. We 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 we, we, we finished him. We, we beat them. At, we beat them in Boston oh. in Game Seven. So Eddie, chill out, Eddie. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie, oh, Eddie, Eddie, chill. So so so, uh, yeah, you see, yeah, this man. is where the attitude comes from. When they talk about you, the rucker, cocky. You know, look how you talk. So actually, the rucker, I wasn't. So you just happened to get cocky and then The Rucker, I was. I didn't need to be cocky. It's crazy about Rucker. Oh. The fans were cocky for me. Ooh, mm. that's the, fan, the fans knew what time it is. All these dudes was nice, man. Shout out to all them dudes. They was, I mean, all them dudes like Kareem Reed, Sham, The Future. Mm. All them was like, like The Future was skipped before in, in 88, 89. Mm. He was a young dude that came out there at 15 years, 60 years old, dealing with that. So it wasn't, it wasn't, like it wasn't done before, mm. but by this time now I was the that future dude. I was the dude. So the fans was cocky for me. The fans was like, "Yeah, we like y'all and y'all. You know, you some of you from Harlem, y'all from down the street, man. But when that skinny dude come up here from Queens, y'all know what time it is." Why did you fight Rondo? I didn't. We didn't fight. I'm pushing. Rondo did. Rondo did some 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 crazy stuff. <laughs> they was trying to take the ball it's out of bounds. One couple times. Maybe. I'm been. I'm I'm like on my shirt, wait, show man, and he's walking up on me with his. Midsection, and that's a no-no. Yeah, hold up. That's a no-no. <laughs> so I told the man, "Yeah, yo, I'm telling you, yo, I'm telling you, man. On. That's yo, what he. What you talking about? That man? yo, you asked the question, you Flip. Queen, you doing it? You doing it? Oh, you looking for trouble? <laughs> the man did something like that. Yeah, and I look. I'm, I'm telling you, man. You your 22 game I'm telling you. Telling. That's what happened. They, they did do that. Yeah, that's yeah. what's going on. They that's came. They came in Houston and smacked us around that day. Yes, they did. Queens guy for real. They did that. So he's walking with his midsection towards you. So right up on me, man. <laughs> right up on me. As I'm as I'm bending, you, like, you, 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 you know how you tired, you you bend down and hold your shorts, you know what yeah. I mean? Mm. And that's what he did. And that's what he did. And we him and I end up meeting up in Vegas that summer. <laughs> and we we was at Aria, so a lot of NBA dudes and we was playing cards in the in the suite. Uh, and they brought that up. And I was like, me and him was like, nah, man, it was stupid, man. You know what I'm saying? But Rondo cool, man. Matt Barnes. <laughs> Same thing. I'm setting the pick. Matt tries to throw an elbow to my face. Matt just he was just on his podcast or some today or other day with, with my teammate T Mac talking about I threw a low blow at him. I said, yo, Matt. So I saw Matt, his AU team and coach our team, and I look at Matt like, no way, Matt. I'll ever, I don't even know how to do, do a dirty play. I don't play there. I don't need to do that. So a, me a, a melee almost break out. Shaq comes shoves the whole pile. Mm. It was it was crazy, man. I get suspended two games. They don't do nothing to Shaq. <laughs> it's like, you know, it was, but Shaq pushed you really. Yeah, he was upset. But so Matt said that you were what? Well, hold on, you you know you know it's right here, right? It's cool. <laughs> you know, I can see what, what happened. Did you, what you watching? The words or the whole play? No, no, I'm I'm, wa I'm watching the play. I'm watching okay, the just play. watch what watch it again. See if I do anything. I'm about to set a pick for T Mac. I'm about to set a pick for him. You pushed it. Oh. Here go flip. Now, do you see it? <laughs> Yo, no, put no, the no, camera on. on the on the on the laptop <laughs> so so the it? world can see, can see the laptop. It's right here. You got to go to the beginning. Nah, you, you said, the go to the back. Go rewind it for the back when I just setting the pick. You ran into him. Stop. Yo, I'm about to violate you, man. 
Look, look, look. All right, look. All right, good. He he just did something to me, see? Mm. And here I go. I'm I won I'm glad <laughs> I didn't swing. I wanted to swing, but I'm glad I didn't swing, man. Matt cool okay. though, man. But Matt, Matt, yeah. Matt, Matt plays like that, man. Matt told the people I did a dirty shot that we had history before. I'm like, Matt, I ain't never first of all, me and you don't even guard each other. But but very rarely on the court at the same time. Why well, he was trying to fight you? I mean, it had to be history because he was going. Okay, here that's we go. Here Matt go. Barnes, man. Oh no, no. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, wait, yeah. Matt. Matt. Whoa, Matt. Whoa, yeah, Matt. He shoved up. Matt. Oh, oh, that's Matt. That's what I'm telling you. I was I set, you, Matt. I was setting the pick for T Mac for him because that's when our plays in transition. If I could kick, take uh, take a, a set of pick for him real quick so mm -hmm. he can get into his shot. Oh my man. So Matt. So Matt. But you never had history with him. No. Like that. <laughs> that was just who he was. And we had, didn't we have the same agent? We had the same agent. One time, but, Matt, I think one time. He was really mad. He kept look, going. One time, I think Matt came to New York City, and I, I think our agent or one of our representatives that worked for our agency, uh, Byron Irvin, was like, called me. Hey, yo, Matt, New York City, he said, you got to be there. Oh, so now Matt want me to take him out after he do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yo, so Matt want me to take him out after he do. I, he just did that. Mm. That can't well, be history because I'm not. If you do that to me, we have history. You keep doing that to me, I'm not taking you out. Yeah, now nah, it's over. Wait, why? why <laughs> so, yo, hold on. That was amazing. Like, do, do you remember that? Yeah. yeah. 